everybody, it's Dawn Marie Moonlight Princess. Um, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you are returning, welcome back. Um, I'm just gonna be real quick about this so we can get right into the reading. Um, the information box below has all the information you require. Um, if you want a reading, I'm doing $20 YouTube private readings that last about 30 to 45 minutes. You get your own private link that no one can see but you. Um, this will not resonate for everybody. So if it doesn't, please don't overthink. Just move on. Don't try to put what it doesn't fit. Um, for those who it does resonate, if you want a reading, hit me up. We can go deeper. Um, please make sure you like, share, subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. I'm working really, really hard to get my readings out there to as many people as possible. So every like, every share, every subscription helps me do that. So I love you all. I do accept donations. Um, so everything's in the box below. And for those of you that have donated and sent me beautiful gifts from my Amazon wish list, I appreciate you so, so, so very much. Thank you. Okay, that's it. That's going to be the quick thing. This is going to be um, a collective going into September here. This is going to be all signs, all signs. And I'm going to pull one at a time. I'm um, starting with... <clears throat> starting with Capricorn and it's going to be just a couple of cards it's going to be quick simple on to the next but today's topic is going to be what is your person thinking about you going into September okay so here we are look at and um, there's going to be timestamps below in the box so we're going to start now with Capricorn what's Cap what's Capricorn's person thinking of them spirit going into September what is Capricorn's person thinking of them thank you hmm it's funny because you got wands um on both of these at the bottom of the deck you got the four of cups so they're thinking either they're not looking at this situation really good that they're thinking of it very pessimistically or they think you're a very pessimistic person we have the three of wands and the seven of wands um this is a card of aries and a card of leo so they think that you are you're not very confident they think you're not very confident um you may not communicate very well this is what they're thinking okay um capricorn they're thinking maybe you don't communicate very well um <sighs> They think that you don't take accountability for your actions. They think that you may have had some uh, betrayal, maybe. Maybe you did some betrayal. They're thinking something's gone on, Capricorn. I don't know what the deal is. Um, this could be a cross-read. I don't know. Like, again, in welcome cross-read. It could be your energy. But somebody's feeling like something. somebody did something, okay? And somebody's not owning up to it. Somebody's not being accountable for it. And somebody's not feeling really positive about that situation, okay? I'm going to leave that there. And we're going to move on to Aquarius. Give me a quick second so I can just shuffle real quick. I'm not gonna do a thousand shuffles. I know a lot of people do that. I'm not one quick shuffle and one of these and let's do this. We're gonna go right into Aquarius. What is Aquarius this person thinking about them spirit going into? How funny that that card just came out. Okay, wow. Hmm. Okay, Aquarius. Um, They think that, it's funny because the star card came out and that's a card of Aquarius. But it came out reversed. And then death is a card of um, Scorpio. So you got Scorpio, you got Aquarius energy. And at the bottom of the deck, you got Gemini could be Virgo with, with the um, magician. Now, the magician, Aqu Aquarius, your person think, may think that you're, you're um, a manipulator. Okay? They may think you're being manipulative. Um, maybe they, they think you're trying to undermine their achievements. Um, <clears throat> somebody trying to manipulate us you know, they think that that's what you're doing they think that, that you are trying you're manipulative and that maybe you're not happy for, for their achievements they think you don't have a lot of hope in your situation because with the star card um that is a card of aquarius and that talks about um somebody who's hopeless so they feel like maybe you just you're very hopeless and you stay that you feel very lonely that you focus on the negative a lot this is a card of being discouraged maybe they feel like you're always just being discouraged you're like okay thank you spirit i just got the debbie downer 
They made yeah. you like Debbie Downer. That's exactly what I heard. Like you're always trying to like they're so miserable in themselves. Like they feel Aquarius. Like you're so miserable with all of your stuff. You, you know you're 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 hopeless. You're you're negative all the time. That you're not happy for them every time something good happens. These are like three major arcana cards, Aquarius. That means this this person is feeling away in this situation. With the death card, it's showing that they feel like you might, um, you, you, you don't want to change. No, and I'm sorry, this is, this is, I'm sorry, this is upright. Forgive me. They feel like they need to let you go. They feel like they need to let you go, Aquarius. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not going to sit and dwell on it. That's what it is. They feel like they need to start a new chapter and let you go. That's how they're looking at you right now. Okay, well, now we go on to Pisces. What is your person or the person that you're thinking about thinking about you? What do they think about you, Pisces? Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to stop there. Those flew the fuck out. Okay. Okay, let me get the signs on these. We got the Two of Swords, which is a card of Libra. The Four of Pentacles, which is a card of Capricorn. And then we got the Ten of Swords reverse at the bottom of the deck, which is a card of Gemini. Now, this is how they feel about you, Pisces. They feel like this, whatever you guys had is over. They feel like it's over. Um, they feel like um, there's healing. They feel like, um, you know, and again, this could be a cross read. It could be whatever, but they feel like um, that, that maybe you're finally pulling yourself together. They look at the situation and maybe there's been some distance between you two, but I feel like they're, they're thinking to themselves, yeah, I think they're finally over the situation because it might have been a situation where things have been over before, but you kept coming back. But this person is seeing this as finally over. They're seeing it because that's how they're seeing it. You like, I guess they're watching your actions and they're thinking, yeah, this is done. The two of swords, um, they're feeling like that maybe you, you, <laughs> Pisces, the person that you're dealing with feels like that maybe you had a, two people, two situations. You were, you were choosing, but you were taking your time. You were at a stalemate. You weren't, you weren't making decisions. And they feel like you were just stuck in that place. And yeah, with the four of pentacles, they feel like you were giving to others. They feel like you were giving to others. You had decisions to make, but you didn't want to make them. You just kept your blindfold on, and now they feel like the, the cycle's finally over. That's for you, Pisces, okay? Now, going into September, what do we have for Aries, Spirit? What is Aries person, or the person they're thinking about, what are they thinking about Aries going into September spirit? Please and thank that one wanted to come out. So please and thank you. Okay, we're gonna stop there because three just came out. So let's see. Okay, Aries. You also have, well, we got four cards. We have the card at the bottom of the deck. You got a little one extra card, but two of your cards are major arcana cards, okay? So you have the Hierophant, okay, which is a card of Taurus. You have the Hermit, which is a card of Virgo. Then you got the three of the three. The way I said that, the three of Pentacles reversed. That is a card of Capricorn. Okay, now at the bottom of the deck, though, let me pull the sign on this one. I think it's Libra. No, it's not. See, you got the Six of Swords, which is a card of Aquarius. So it's the Aries. With the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck, um, your person, the person you're thinking about, feels like, they feel like you might be running away from something. There might be issues that need to be addressed and they feel like you're running away. Um, either that, it could be they feel like you're running away or they feel like you're healing. So you could be moving away. So maybe they feel like, they're kind of like you're moving away from this situation, okay? Because this is the overall energy of it. So they may feel like you're kind of moving away and, and healing from whatever's going on. 
Now with the three of pentacles, this is reversed. So they see you as someone who's, who's there's a lack of growth in this situation with you. They even think there might be a third party because three and it's reversed. So they feel like maybe you've done something, there might be a third party, but they definitely don't feel like they're getting some teamwork with you. They feel like they feel like it's something's not, you're not coming together, you know, the right way. They also see you though, as someone who maybe, um, they wanna have commitment with you. That's why this card is here. They see you as someone that, that's, that they wanna be stable with. Even though they see you moving away, they see you as the person that they wanna have commitment with. But like I said, they see you spending a lot of time alone. That's what they're thinking about you. You're being alone. You're, you're pulling yourself in solitude. Okay, but again, that goes with this here, with the, the underlying energy. They're seeing you kind of move away at a distance. So Aries, whoever you're dealing with um, is it, feeling like something has happened, that maybe you, there was a betrayal, that um, maybe there was a third party, but they're seeing a lack of teamwork here, but they also feel like you're moving away from them. They feel like they're losing you almost. Thank you. That's what spirit, that's what I heard. Um, but they see you as someone they want to be with. They see you, you know, as, as, as commitment. That's how they see you. I don't know if you see them that way, but that's how they see you. Um, okay, we're going to move on. Um, we're going to move on to Taurus. So, Spirit, please, um, what is Taurus's person, think, or the person on their mind thinking about them going into September? Taurus, what is their person going, going into September thinking about them? Okay, we're just, yeah, we're just gonna, okay, I'll take those three, we're gonna put this one back, and okay. So we have Pisces energy, Taurus, we have Scorpio energy, um, let me just grab this, I think, yep, we have more Taurus, we got Taurus energy there, and there is this, we just had this part too, but I just, Aries, Aries, okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the death card, Taurus, which is a card of Scorpio. Now, this is, this, I feel like, again, we just had this up before, someone is looking at you like um, there's an end of a cycle. Like, they, may, maybe Taurus, they feel like this is it, the cycle's done. Um, they feel like they're looking at you like either they need to let you go or, you know, you, you, you deal with things, you need to let go of things. But this is definitely closing a chapter. So they may feel like this chapter, um, Taurus needs to be closed or rebirth because it is a, a card of rebirth so it could be something needs to, to, to die so something could start but we're gonna look into the deeper cards now we got okay we got the hanged man and that is reversed okay that is a card of Pisces when this card is showing up reversed what they're feeling about you they feel like you're detached okay they're looking at you um, like you might be detached, like maybe you lost some interest in them. They feel like you might be selfish and you're not looking to change or you're refusing to change. Um, with the three of wands, let me pull this real quick. This is a card, yeah, they feel like you're holding on to the past, that you're not very confident. Like there's very lack of confidence with you. You're not feeling very confident to yourself. Um, let's see, yeah. But now, though, with this King of Pentacles, they're also looking at you as someone who, who, um, if you're a male, you may have a, you may be a father. If you're female, you may be a mom. But you're definitely someone who they feel is abundant, someone who, who could be stable, who could be prosperous, who could be a good provider. But they feel like you're somewhere else. They feel like, yeah, they feel like you're all over the place here, especially with that hanged man. That's what got me there, um, Taurus. They feel like you're refusing to change. They feel like you're detached. Yep. So I keep going right back to that. 
And with the three of wands, yeah, that's someone that they feel like you, you don't have confidence, that you're holding on to the past. They see you as this, this person. That's probably what the death is. They probably want something to end so they could restart with you because I don't feel like this is an, an energy where they don't want you. It's almost like they see you as this king of pentacles, Taurus, but they feel like they've lost you. They see you kind of as the reversed uh, hangman, slipping away, uh, putting your attention in other places, okay? Putting your attention in other places. Okay, Gemini, we're going to move on. And again, I'm still going to do my readings this month, you know, for every single sign, but this is going to be a quickie going into September. Um, okay, Gemini, please, Spirit. Going into September, what is the person or the per their person or the person on their mind thinking about them going into September? Gemini. Okay, we're going to stop there. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we got some Capricorn energy with the devil. And then we have, <laughs> I'm laughing because I know the signs. Okay, we got, we got Leo and, where are we here? Sagittarius, could be Scorpio, okay? Gemini, this person thinks you might be a little toxic sometimes. I mean, this person thinks, listen, I'm looking at the picture because I read the energies from the card too. That's why I'm laughing. I, I, this is one, out of all these readings I just did, this one I'm really picking up heavy on the energy. This person thinks you're sexy. This person thinks you're real sexy in a toxic fucked up way but they don't care they think you may have some kind of you know maybe you drink a lot maybe you smoke a lot maybe you do some a lot too much weed or maybe you have maybe you're you know you like women they know you're toxic this is how they see you that you are toxic but they don't care you got two wands cards because wands represents passion and growth especially sexual passion so they see you as someone who gets a lot of attention with this with the six of wands this is what i'm saying i think they may see you as someone who who, who's, who has a lot of people around them because see a lot of people a lot of people they see you as someone who gets a lot of attention um you you may even be someone who's famous or someone in your community who's very well known but they see you as that they look at you as someone who's very very kind of known um you're victorious, like, you know, you, you win, you're a winner. They see you as this. Oh, I got goosebumps. I literally got goosebumps doing this reading. That is so weird. And then they also see you as the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is someone who's a charmer, a player. So they may, but it's sexy. It turns them on and they don't understand why, but they don't even care. They see you as likable. They love your energy, okay? Um, they know that with, with, with the Knight of Wands, they know that you may leave as quick as you come in, but you know, you may be someone who's for the good time only and they know that, but, and they know this is toxic. This is toxic. And they know it is. They see it as toxic, but they see it as all this passion, as all of this, this, this other stuff as well. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm smiling. I'm actually blushing. It's hilarious. Um, <laughs> we're gonna move on now to Cancer. Okay. <clears throat> Let's shuffle, and we are halfway through. We're, get, we're getting on to Cancer now. His nose ring is bothering me. Okay. Okay. This is for Cancer Spirit. What is Cancer's person or the person on their minds thinking about them going into September? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay. This is a card of Sagittarius. They feel like, you know, Cancer, this, your, your person um, thinks you might be a little defensive, okay? They think you might be a little defensive, but they also could be looking at you as that you just defend yourself. You're very, you know, against defensive, could be just protecting yourself. Maybe they feel like um, you're just very protected, you know, just in general. Excuse me. You got now, okay, so now we're into the swords realm. You, both of your cards here, uh, Cancer, are swords. Swords is the realm of thought and intellect, okay? So you have, excuse me, I am gassy. I apologize. We have Aquarius and we have Libra. 
or Aquarius. It could be one or the other. Okay, so Seven of Swords. Your person is seeing you, Cancer, as someone who um, is very open about their feelings. Someone who you may not have been before, but you, you know you might be looking to be more honest, about honest about how you feel. Yeah, because they also see you as the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Again, if even if you're a male, it don't matter. It just it's it's the energies go where they go. It just means that this is a king or a queen that's very compassionate. You could have a child or you could just be very loving or parental, like that kind of compassion because the queen of swords is very compassionate. She's very smart and independent as well. So she does cut things out. So they may be seeing you as someone who's very smart. You're very compassionate, um, Cancer. And they, but they also see you as somebody that will, will cut stuff out when you need to um, in, a, in a very good way, not, not in a nasty way. Um, they may see you as some Somebody who you know it will give constructive criticism yeah and with that seven of swords like I said it's someone who's very honest about who they are this is nice I like this energy so now when I combine it with this nine of wands I totally see where they're going with this they see you as someone who's very protected okay you may have your guard up and that's okay but they see you like this because they also see you as someone who's just very honest no no mask you're not wearing a mask and you will cut things out you know your mother you're compassionate your parental um, you're direct. This is a person who may have even been divorced before or, or who has gone through it. Do you know what I mean? When I say through it, you've been through some shit. So, and they see you as that, but they really do see you as somebody who's, who's you know, uh, if they see you with high respect. That's all I'm going to say. That's actually really nice. Okay, Cantor, let's go ahead. Let's, we're going to move on to Leo. Spirit, what does Leo's person or the person they're thinking about, think about them. Okay, those two came flying out. So we have, let me just get these signs out of the way here. We have Aries, could be Pisces. Um, I'm sorry if you hear all the yelling and screaming, just um, that's, I have a very crazy household here, so just bear with me. I apologize in advance. We have card of Gemini, and we have Cancer. So we just did Cancer's reading, Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we had the Chariot, which is a card of Cancer. And they may be looking at you as someone who's very victorious, someone who can overcome obstacles when they need to, someone who doesn't give up. They just charge forward and do this. And Alpha, they may see you as an Alpha, whether you're a male or female, this is how they may see you. Um, Someone who's very fast and determined. They don't stop and play games. You may travel a lot, and they see you as someone who does a lot of traveling. Um, now, when I get into the meat and potatoes of the two cards, they also see you as the Ten of Swords, reversed, okay? This is the card of, of uh, Gemini. This is a card, well, they, they may see that, you know, you're healing. Um, you may have been through something, a, a rough cycle, and they see that with you, that cycle is over because they see you healing, but they see you pulling yourself together. So you may have had a situation before, whether it was love, whether it was a job, something that didn't work out too good. And but, you know, that, so, that cycle is over. They're watching you, they're seeing you pull yourself together, and they're seeing you as healing. They're, they're seeing things getting better for you. They see also, though, this King of Wands energy with you. This is Aries, could be Pisces, but this is reversed. Now, so they see you as somebody who may have been uh, someone who broke promises. That, you know, even though you have all of this, you know, you know, this is where they may see you now, but they, they see, they think you may be a follower sometimes, that you may listen to other people instead of tr trusting yourself. They feel like you may be somebody who thinks you're right no matter what. Um, this is somebody who sometimes just thinks they, they feel like they're better than other people. They're just very unreliable. It, 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 they just, they may see you as snobby. So I, I don't feel like they're looking at you as this, this malicious, horrible person because here they're seeing you as, you know, quick, determined because they do, but but they do see you, um, and um, this is what I'm getting pulled to. They're seeing you as somebody who's a follower, that you maybe, you know, you shouldn't be. You know, you're supposed to be more, more powerful than you are. You follow too much. Someone who may have broken some promises, but stubborn. And that's what I just heard because I'm hearing they always think they're right. They always think they're right. 
They always think they're right. So I'm gonna leave it there, Leo, but this is where I'm getting pulled with that, okay? I don't wanna go too much into this. This is supposed to be a quickie, but they, they do see you as someone who's a go-getter, someone who's fast and furious, but they see you as someone who could be a little difficult. That's, that's kind of what I'm saying. You know, you just could break promises sometimes or, or, you know, be a little snobby or, you know what I mean, or think you're always right, but they do see you with a certain respect, though, if that makes sense, Leo. Okay, now, we're going to jump right into Virgo, and that flew out. Spirit, what is Virgo's person or the person on their mind thinking about them going into September? Virgo, please and thank you, Spirit. Please and thank Oh, there we go. I'll leave it there. Virgo, all right. We have the Magician, which I know we know is a card of Gemini, could be. Virgo. That's why I love that shit. Could be Virgo. Spirits on play. Um, we got the Ace of Cups, which is a water sign. So it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be either one of those. Then we have the Five of Wands, which is a card of Leo, who we just did. All right, Virgo. This is crazy. We got the Magician. Your person is looking at you as someone who might be pure magic, someone who manifests. They look at you like, look at this. They can just make anything happen. Okay, because that's what the magician does. They're powerful. They may see you as very skillful. They may see you as very powerful. They just may see you as somebody um, who can make shit happen. You may be a psychic. You may be a tower reader. Or you just may be someone that's very intuitive. But they see all this in you. They definitely absolutely see all this. It was kidding. They see you as the five of wands reversed. And that is a card of Leo. And that is someone who um, is compromising. They see you as someone who's a good negotiator, that you're not combative. There's no competition. You know, you're not one of those people that always feels like you're gonna compete. No, they see you as somebody who's just so um, calm and easy to work with. Like you're just, um, like you go, you go with the flow. That's exactly what I heard. You go with the flow, but here's the best part, fucking Virgo. Fucking Virgo. They see you as the Ace of Cups, okay? So this could be uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is someone that they see new beginnings with. They look at you, that again, just like the, the Magician card, they see you as a manifester. They see you just as very passionate, um, that you're very intuitive. And again, that's what I said before. Um, they see you as someone who chases your dreams and you go for what you want. I fucking love that one. I'm, ooh, I got goosebumps everywhere. I'm going to leave that one there. Fucking Virgo. I think that and what was it? Gemini's? Was it Gemini? That like the best one that gave me the goosebumps everywhere? That was freaking insane. Yeah, yeah, I curse a lot. I got potty mouth, so you just got to bear with me, okay? I do. I, I look all sweet and innocent, and then I open my mouth, and I am a sailor in a dress, okay? And I'm being very conservative right now. It's both for four on the clock. That's right. I have fucking potty mouth. Okay. So, Libra. What is Libra's person or the person they're thinking about? Think about them going into September. Why are we doing that? Going into September. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, wow. Libra, your cards just want to come flying out. It's ridiculous. All right. Let's see, Libra. What is your person think? Ooh. Ooh. Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. We got Pisces in the house. We got Aries in the house. And let me just see here real quick. Libra in the house. That's what I thought, but I didn't want to shout it out. Bottom of the deck, Libra, they think of you as the queen of swords reverse. Again, don't take the queen for granted. It could be a king if you're a male. Whatever energy that is prominent in you. They see you as someone who's overly critical, someone who might be a little bit rude or stubborn even, okay? You, they may look at you as someone who gossips a lot. Um, you may be distant, you know, you may be kind of cold. Someone, um, not someone who is not a good communicator. Hmm. They see you as the emperor reversed Libra. 
this is a card of Aries. Uh, they they feel like uh, you're not, you don't balance, you don't have good balance of your power, of whatever you do, your authority. Your, they, they don't feel like you have a good balance there. They see you as someone who's driven by, not only driven by power, but by status, roles. Um, someone, someone that takes advantage of people, maybe uses people very uh, overbearing and controlling they, you know someone that doesn't commit not just to a person but to anything because they do what they want to do this is a very poof energy they see they see ooh, look I'm stuttering this is how they're seeing you and then with the hanged man this is a card of Pisces they're seeing you my throat just got they got real tight they're seeing you um as detached they are seeing you as someone that lacks perspective because they feel like you're selfish so you don't care about perspective it's only your perspective you understand so you're lacking perspective um they see you as somebody who is very easily influenced by the crowd and that you have a big ego which is where that emperor verse comes in where i told you they feel like you think you know you're just you do things that just benefit you and we, with this, it's like you, you got this, they feel like you got a huge ego. I don't know, I hate to tell you that, Libra. I'm sorry to break the news, but whoever's on your mind, or whoever you're thinking about, they, they're not thinking real good of you, and I don't know why. Um, but again, we'll find out maybe more in the Libra reading if that's what spirit wants to come up. Let us move on. We got two more signs. Scorpio's next. Now, this is special for me because I am a Scorpio. I am a Scorpio. I am a Scorpio rising. My Mercury's in Scorpio. My Neptune's in Scorpio. I have so many planets in Scorpio. It's not even funny. It is not even funny. I am so Scorpio. Okay. Spirit for my Scorpio people. Let's do theirs. So, for Scorpio spirit, the person, what is their person or the person on their mind thinking about Scorpio coming into September? Scorpio spirit. Thank you. Please and thank you. All right. How do I present that? It's great because the first card that popped out was a card of Scorpio. Is this? Okay, sorry, Spirit, thank you. I was holding it, the Spirit's like, no, I told you present. I was holding it the wrong way. First card was a card of Scorpio with the Six of Cups, okay? Then we have the Nine of Wands, which is a card of Sagittarius. It's reversed. Let me put these together. The bottom of the deck, we have a Hierophant, which, and I think, I always forget this one. I think it's Aries. No, see, Jesus, Taurus, um, and that is upright. So that's at the bottom of the deck. So now the general energy of what the person is thinking about you, Scorpio, they see you as someone who, now this is a, is a card, the, the Hierophant is like the male version of the High Priestess. So they see you as someone who's very um, committed. They see you as someone who's committed. They see you as somebody who's a, a very ascended spiritually as well. Okay, it's like the, uh, like I said, the male version of the High Priestess. It's like the Pope card. So they see you as someone who's very spiritually, um, um, you know, ascended. You might be a mentor. They see you that way, but they see you as definitely as someone who's marriage material. So you could be wifey material or husband material, but they definitely see you as somebody who's worth commitment. Okay, they see you as commitment, Scorpio. Now, they also... And I'm going to do this one first because I'm going to focus on that one last. With the Nine of Wands reversed, they're seeing you as somebody who, they may, you may be at a stalemate with them right now. So you may not be in communication with this person, Scorpio, because I'm seeing um, cancel travel. So like no one's traveling to each other. I know the Nine of Wands is normally... Um, being protected and when it's reversed it's protection um dropping but i don't read just the meanings i read the energy and i'm getting it as someone who like i said there there's 
a distance, this canceled travel. So you and your person, Scorpio, there may be no travel. And they may see, you know, there's delays in this. They may see you with some delays going on. And they're seeing as, as like a stalemate at this point. They think you're withdrawing from this situation. They, they think you're withdrawing. It's like you're walking away. They think you're withdrawing from this situation. They see you as wifey material, as husband material, as marriage material, but they see you as withdrawing from this. I think there's definitely separation here. You haven't seen or spoken to this person. Um, they this, this is someone from your past, Scorpio with the Six of Cups. This is definitely someone from your past. There's, do there's, there's puppies and see, there's a puppy, there's a dog. So there might be somebody um, that has a puppy or a dog, but they see you. They miss you, Scorpio. They're feeling nostalgic. They may, you guys may have been friends with benefits and maybe you didn't like that, but he, this person looks at you as, as worthy of being committed to. You know what I'm saying? They, they see you as that, as marriage material. But they're feeling very nostalgic. They're missing you. So if this person, they may have been friends with benefits and the reality is they, they love you. They miss you, Scorpio, okay? That was nice. That was actually sweet. Where where those where the one the two reasons what was a Virgo and Gemini were like, oh my god, they made me blush. That Scorpio reading was actually really sweet. All right, one more Sagittarius, and then we are done. Thank you guys for doing this with me. Sagittarius spirit, what is their person or the person on their mind thinking about them going into September? Sagittarius. If anybody needs a reading, please don't forget, hit me up. My information's in the box below. We will go so deep. I'm doing $20 private YouTube readings. Come on, where are you getting a fucking reading for 20 bucks anywhere? You send me like up to two questions you want to know and I will do about a 30 to 60 minute video, private video. Nobody could see it but you. Where are you getting one of those for 20 bucks? Information below. Just hit me up. Okay. Sagittarius. Let me get the uh, signs so we can get the energies. They, I'm seeing Libra here. Okay, we got Libra, we got Aquarius, and Capricorn. Okay, so we got Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Energy, Sagittarius. At the bottom of the deck, though, we have the Fool, and they have it's in the reverse position. Okay, this is a card of Aquarius. This talks; they may be seeing you as someone who's like a little bit reckless or naive. Okay, someone who makes uh, impulsive choices, and they're usually not very good. This is someone who may gamble, but they lose. Someone who's easily distracted as well. I kept hearing in my head, squirrel. So I don't know if that's gonna resonate, but I kept hearing squirrel, squirrel. Someone who's easily distracted, but that's what I kept hearing in my head. It literally was so funny, it was squirrel. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a card of Capricorn. So they see you, even though they see you as, as someone who makes these choice. Listen, okay, let me correct myself. Thank you, spirit. I spoke too ahead of myself. With that fool, it's not necessarily someone that makes impulsive choices and gambles and loses. It's just someone that makes scary, like they don't put thought into it first. They just do it without even thinking. But here's the funny part. They also see you, Sagittarius, as someone who fucking wins. It's like, what the fuck? They feel like you have this uncanny good luck. You don't even think about what you're doing. You just do it without a second fucking thought. And no matter what, you bounce back from it. They see you as someone that, 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 you know, you got this, this strange abundance. They see you, um, as for some reason, luck is always on your side. They, they think that you must have help from somewhere else. Almost like that. Like from, you must have help from, from like some spiritual help because they, they don't understand how you could continue to make these choices and bounce back from them. Yeah, they're kind of like. They also see you as somebody who might be a little bit heartbroken. You might be lonely. You might be um, feeling sad. Okay, Sagittarius. If I put now, if I look at this one, I put it together. 
They may see you as somebody who's in this loneliness, somebody who's sad, somebody who might be dealing with some stuff. So you're making these poor choices. You're in this energy. You don't even care anymore. And you're just doing this. You're doing that. You're doing this. You don't give a fuck. Naive, not, don't matter. But you're just fucking winning. And they don't understand it. I mean, it's not that they're wishing negative on you. They're, they're just seeing you as somebody who you just keep bouncing. And you're not even trying. And they're thinking you must have some help from somebody. But they definitely... I can't leave that there. Thank you, Spirit. I can't. It just... One more. There you go. Yeah. With the Four of Pentacles, um, that is a card of Capricorn again. Um, this is reversed. So they feel like, you know, you're trying to let go of toxic situations. This is what I'm feeling. That they feel like you're doing that and you're being more giving to others. From, from this pain that you've come through. But I feel like they're concerned almost because they feel like you're not thinking about your choices. They almost feel like you're a little bit naive. You're not make, you're not thinking your choices through. You're all over the place. You're distracted. But things are working for you. Things are going in your favor and they see that too. So that's how they see it. They see that you're doing these things and you're trying to heal from it, but they, I think it's more of a concern what they're thinking about you, Sagittarius. It's more of a like, but you know, I'm just worried about her or worried about him because I'm afraid they're not making the right choices. So I'm going to stop that there. Um, just before I end this completely, completely, I'm going to pull three Oracle messages from my mermaid deck and that's going to be for the collective of everybody and then I'll end the reading there. Okay, this is... A new deck for me. I, I really like this. I've only used it a couple of times. So we're going to pull three messages. And this is for the collective of everybody. I hope everybody enjoyed this. I like doing these. Um, it's a nice break once in a while. I'll just do it like everybody. And then I'll come back and then do individuals. So if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. And please leave me comments. I love when people leave me comments. Okay, I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're fucking telling me, bitch, you, you have too much lipstick on. Okay, thank you. I love you too. I just love you. Yeah, give me the comment. I'm fuck, I'm a Scorpio. Give me a 10. A ten. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't ask for it, but if you want to give it to me, I'll take it. I'm not Scorpio. There are two kinds of Scorpios. There are Scorpios that need to be the center of attention. And there are some that just are. I don't need to be. Okay, but it's, but it's nice. I'm a Scorpio. If you're going to give it to me, shit. If you're going to give it to me. You might as well give it to me. Contentment. There's a lot of contentment for the for the collective out there. There's going to be some happiness, some good decisions with your person coming into um, into September. Um, there's going to be gratitude, a lot to be grateful for. So make sure you're constantly giving gratitude. I do it daily, and I do it several times a day because I just. It, it's just important. It's just important. Gratitude, extremely, and dreaming. Dare to dream. Dream. Okay, your dreams are going to start coming true, but they can't come true unless you start to dream them. Put them into manifestation mode. Start allowing them to come into fruition. That is all for now. I'm going to end it there. I love you guys so, so fucking much. Thank you for joining me. I will have some other readings later this week um, for the different zodiac signs. But in the meantime, joy, justice, love, and blessings to each and every one of you. I love you all so much.